Iceland, the winter of uh, 2021. Um, the snow is falling and the wind is blowing. It's 10 below zero. We are preparing for a micro course on uh, uh, transhumans and uh, first cognitive mapping at the University of Iceland. Uh, first, we will uh, see uh, attend to some aspects of the medieval agriculture in Iceland. Here we see uh, the ruins of a medieval tenancy in northern Iceland, such as farm would have uh, livestock, about 10 sheep and some cows. The produce from uh, this was enough to feed the family. Uh, the, they, the animals produced mostly milk. Here we see the settlements, and the various size of farms and the agricultural landscape in northern Iceland. And here we see uh, some of the medieval remains, earth walls and uh, uh, here there is uh, a, a map of the earth wall as it winds along the valley and, and the slopes are the transhumans uh, uh, ceilings uh, like this. Here are the remains of, besides producing uh, milk, meat and fish, grain was cultivated. It's, it was mostly cultivated in the south during uh, the Middle Ages. And uh, we have uh, sources on uh, the payment of rents and uh, woolen rents and, and milk rents. You see here an overview of the settlement of the farming, po farming population in, uh, as, as it was recorded in 1703. Here we see uh, uh, Solveig Beck and Gilvi Helgason uh, instructing on the fuzzy cognitive mapping uh, method of uh, analysis and uh, work. Uh, Solway is, uh, has analyzed her own work, doctoral thesis work on uh, pottery. And, uh, and then the students were given some uh, subjects to choose from, from the course they uh, were uh, taking and uh, also they could choose their own subjects, uh, anything they wish they could think of. Um, and then uh, the students were split up into four, four, four or five groups and they started working on their fuzzy cognitive mapping. Uh, and, uh, here we can see Solveig is instructing one of this, these groups. Here are the other groups. Here is a group led by Gundis. Um, and uh, they are discussing their topic. And also we can see here a uh, third group, which is also in the process of creating the fuzzy to map. These students have chosen as their subject the effects of a black death on uh, Icelandic medieval agriculture. After discussion, uh, the students introduced their uh, results. Here's the result of the uh, group we saw last. They are, uh, have analyzed the effects of Black death on Icelandic agriculture. 
This group chose as its subjects the slaying of uh, the great chieftain and uh, writer uh, Snorri Sturluson at Reykholt in, um, and uh, they analyzed the various circumstances surrounding that uh, slaying which was done by the representatives of the Norwegian king. The Icelandic representatives. And uh, they have created a very workable and uh, detailed physicality mapping. Map. Uh, but here we have uh, Gundis who has uh, organized uh, her group uh, in uh, discussing how to teach uh, students that are attending uh, the University of Iceland but live outside Reykjavik. And she has been among the people who has criticized how badly these people are served with uh, the teaching on, online. And, uh, She's, uh, they, the group has discussed that and has uh, analyzed it with a physicalative map. And, uh, Here we have the map. And uh, she discusses the various circumstances about uh, teaching online and, and uh, criticizes the university. Uh, now we have uh, uh, another group uh, represented by Ragnhildur and her companion. Uh, they have decided to analyze uh, the impact of black death on Icelandic agriculture. Um, and uh, they are doing this with the uh, fussy cognitive mapping. They have also created some scenarios uh, asking how different, uh, different variables have impacted their analysis. In one case, they uh, ask the map uh, what would happen if uh, the black death had not come to Iceland at all, how it would have affected the system. They are showing the, the scenario here. They also have another scenario where uh, the impact of black death is maximized. And this, of course, shows a very different picture. So, the students were really quick in picking this up. Then, uh, some of us came to Valencia and had a really good time there with Fasi currently mapping and a lot of people from all over Europe.